Hello, so it's World Mental Health Day, October the 10th, and I wanted to create a short video just to share a little bit about uh, moving forward family services and uh, what makes us unique. So it's just a very short presentation um, about the agency and what we do. And there's my contact information. You're welcome to reach out if you have any questions. Uh, I've been in this field, the social services sector, for over 20 years, and I've seen a lot of great, amazing work being done, but often similar observations from different positions I've been in. And these are the uh, the observations that a lot of the services tend to be triaged when you have a limited number of resources. You often have to assess and then decide what service a client will get, if any. Uh, services can tend to be short-term and, and focusing on solutions so uh you know sort of get somebody in patch them up get them out which can work wonders for a lot of folks but uh, and it makes sense again when you have limited resources that you have um, ultimately the most bang for your funding dollars to have these sort of short-term approaches but it doesn't necessarily work for a lot of folks who could benefit from longer term therapies and services uh, when you have limited resources you have to set eligibility criteria so a lot of people become uh, excluded for service, not because their needs aren't significant, but because they don't fit all the check marks. Uh, even if you do fit all the check marks, you may have to uh, face a long wait list because, again, limited resources. Uh, uh, we've also recognized the connection between mind and body and how when you're struggling um, physically, it affects your mental well-being and, and vice versa. When you're struggling uh, with social emotional health issues, it can affect you physically, yet a lot of our services are still separated, despite us recognizing the, the connection. Uh, an approach that tends to be very individualistic, looking at the individual and what's going on for them, um, which is important, that's their day to day, but also there's family, there's extended family, there's community, and a lot of interventions aren't uh, addressing those those. Um, aspects of a person's life. A lot of services aren't integrated. We have all these silos that we recognize exist and we've come a long way, but they're still there uh, in many cases. So a lot more work to do to um, overcome silos. And then we have a very diverse uh, client population that yet the, the services haven't quite kept up for those language and cultural needs. I'm, I'm breezing through this because I could probably spend hours, anyone that knows me, on any one of these topics, but uh, um, I want to just kind of really touch upon these, and I'm always happy to discuss these in depth with anyone that wants to have that chat. So the agency, I had these experiences. I've talked to so many people. I was struggling with this. I was experiencing moral distress. But simultaneously, I was observing how students with the right mentorship, supervision, and support could support folks who are otherwise falling through the gaps. And this is what Moving Forward does. Other agencies do it, but I think we do it in a very different way in terms of how our, our services are set up and the way we work with our interns and just the, the sheer number of students we have. Um, we have, at any given time, 100 to 150 students across the country. We have uh, about 20, 25 clinical supervisors. And that's actually where a lot of our funding goes is to supervise and support these learners, these uh, new therapists and social workers. And what I didn't plan on, but what I've seen over the years is a lot of our graduates would come back and want to support the mission. And so they're able to offer sliding scale services to someone that may want to, you know, work with a more experienced therapist, but cannot, you know, uh, pay traditional private therapy rates, but they can, they can, uh, absolutely the sliding scale. And now we're in a position because our expenses are very low and we've had a lot of great community support that we can even fund uh, private therapists to see clients when we think a client's needs are better met by that more experienced therapist or social worker. And so it, because of how we're, we're set up, we can do a lot more uh, prevention work. We can do early intervention. We don't have any specific mandates, and that's very much intentional. We can complement what other organizations do, and uh, we can advocate. We can do things that a lot of organizations are just too busy to do in terms of their, their again, the needs uh, outstripping resources. But because we have a lot of resources and a lot of great people with us, uh, we can do some really innovative, impactful work and complement those agencies that are that are 
you know, that are so busy that they're really struggling to, to need, uh, keep up with the need. Uh, we're able to make sure that our our interns and new therapists and social workers are um, highly skilled by providing them with some very high quality training. And really, we can look at what the community needs are and really develop programs from that grassroots lens. And I'm going to wrap it up. I know everyone's busy and I wanted to make sure this is just a very short video. You're welcome again to reach out to me. But this is where I position the agency. We are not a publicly fund funded system necessarily. We do have some funding from uh, government, but uh, not from the, the traditional sources that fund public counseling. Uh, and it allows us to, to do some things um, maybe differently in terms of how we work with clients. And so I won't go through this, but you're welcome to read this. And again, please reach out. Uh, it's World Mental Health Day. I'm, I, I love to see how much attention is being paid to mental health, yet I know so much more work remains. And I also think there's a lot of great agencies doing great work and a lot of the traditional approaches absolutely can support a lot of folks. But I also think innovative approaches will um, We'll, we'll support those who are otherwise falling through the gaps. And that's what uh, uh, moving forward is all about, is supporting those who cannot access private sector because of a cost affordability and aren't able to access public funded systems. And so please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.